Warning, this story contains artistic depictions of sexual conduct. All characters in the story are over the age of 18. Any similarities to real people, living or dead, are coincidental. Alright, so welcome back to the latest installment. When we last, last uh, a recap was the main protagonist and his wife were sitting in front of the TV. He went up to get coffee, said, hey, we're out of milk. Started going for a walk rather than drive because he kept thinking like, oh, I hope I run into her. I don't, you know, he's, he's thinking about all kinds of things in his life that's, you know, being self-centered. Come to find out, he ends up, does meet Belle in the park and he starts flirting she's flirting back um he's trying to avoid where his mind is obviously going which is pretty much he wants her why else would he walk out in the middle of the night rather than drive why would he go to the park specifically so that being said they're going to go to the store and this is where we are continuing so here we go Belle was as good as her word she waited outside the store obediently when i went inside like a puppy collared to a bollard her request was a hu- also humble, much to my relief, and easily fulfilled too. An ice cream, a cheap one, only 60p. The little kind little kids like, made of milk. Belle sits on the swing once more, and I, though I don't know how, find myself sat next to her. My carton of milk sat on my lap. It leaks coolness against my right thigh and I feel my skin going numb through my jeans but I make no motion of moving I'm too busy watching Belle she unwraps the ice cream tenderly digesting the frozen treat of its wrappings as though it's something precious and hit and the hands the rubbish and hands the rubbish over to me the trash here you go present for you thank you milady much obliged she giggles, brushing a few strands of hair from away from her mouth, and surveys her prize. It's a pale white color, vanilla, shaped like a cylinder. Basically like an ice cream bar. But why an ice cream of all things? I am easy to please. I didn't want to burden you with any extreme requests, like rare jewels or designer clothes. I'm thankful for it. My budget wouldn't stretch that far, and I doubt the co-op stocks stuff like that. Then doesn't this work out well for me, well for all of us? I guess. I don't know. It's a bit cold out for ice cream, don't you think? I don't mind. I like experiencing different kinds of sensations. Isn't that the best thing about being alive? Okay, it just seems kind of (laughs) childish. Is there anything wrong with being childish? Isn't that the best way to live life? Being excited by the small things with wonder and curiosity? Alright, Alice. Alright. She giggles, sticking her tongue out at me. Sides, ice cream isn't that childish. It is when it's a mini milk. Oh, you'd be surprised. Okay. <laughs> the minute I saw the picture, I'm like, oh god, I know exactly where this is going. This is what they do in Japan with, like, the the freaking banana or, <laughs> like you said, ice cream. Oh god, she took the next level flirting out. <sighs> this is still okay to put on YouTube, so it's not technically bad. Not yet, anyways. With a coetic... Uh, co- Coetish? I can't even say it. With a coetish giggle, Bill dips her head and drags her tongue along the length of the ice cream. (laughs) Ah. (laughs) I'm doing more than blink. I'm laughing myself because this is just like, she's taking it to a level of flirt. My cheeks turn pink despite the cold. Of course I should have known. Why didn't I guess? You know, I honestly thought it was an ice cream sandwich. (laughs) I didn't know it was going to turn into this. Oh, God. Please don't go bad. 
It must be because of Melly. I associate this particular brand of ice cream so entirely with my five-year-old daughter. She would have lived on this stuff if I'd let her. That I failed to realize it could be used for other less innocent purposes. Now I feel foolish. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this now. <laughs> Fuck. Belle drags her tongue across the of the ice cream a couple times her eyes half lit <laughs> oh my god please don't tell me this is what is gonna happen every once in a while she says something she makes a noise seductively the noises she makes are soft barely audible but I can still catch them maybe because I'm in a state of hyper awareness myself All of a sudden, the sensations about me feel even more acute. The wind through my hair, my feet on the ground, the carton of milk pressed against my thigh. I shiver. W what do you think you're doing? Belle lifts her head, a strand is alive. Uh, oh my god. <sighs> I can do this. Game face, man, game face. Belle lifts her head, a strand of saliva connecting her pale <laughs> lips with the side of the ice cream. It quivers semi-transparent for a few moments. <laughs> like a gosmer spider web before it snaps. Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to seduce you, Mr. Hawkins. Oh my god. You know what? <sighs> that reminds me of... An old British song by the police about a teacher. Oh my god, is it really like that? Let me see here. Don't stand so close to me. So yeah, if you ever want context for this moment right here, go Google uh, the police and the song is Don't Stand So Close To Me. This has to be taken from that somehow. Matter of fact, you could probably play that in the background while I'm reading this. And while it's not taking place in a classroom, it's definitely uh, it's definitely there with the lyrics. It's all right, isn't it obvious? I'm trying to seduce you, Mr. Hawkins. But but but, but why? I don't know. I just like the attention, I guess. Well, you have my attention. You have it, so you don't need to keep doing that. Oh? She giggles, her eyes half-lidded. Is this too stimulating for you? A little light ice cream petting? <laughs> ice cream petting. I like it. I like the words. I <laughs> just didn't expect it. Let me redo that. I, I I just didn't expect it, that's all. Aw, your cheeks are turning red. How cute. I'm not cute. I beg to differ. When you react like that, how can I stop myself? It's only an ice cream, but you're already getting so hit up. <laughs> she used to eat those by the handful, my Melly. In the summer, they'd melt, and she'd end up with sticky ice cream goo about her cheeks, and I'd have to wipe it away. Belle's cheeks are getting similarly sticky, but the effect it has on me is completely different. <laughs> oh, nay, what have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> Melly was just a little girl, my dear daughter. Belle, on the other hand, she's a different matter altogether. Her own cheeks are glazed in a soft coral pink. Her dark eyelashes tremble. She moans softly about the ice cream as she takes it. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> All right, that really is enough. <laughs> I get to my feet in a hurry, upending the carton of milk as I do so. 
It hits the grass with a soft, soft thud. The white milk inside it sloshes. Hmm. Belle draws the ice cream from her lips and blinks up at me, her eyes big and bright, staring. She's enjoying herself. I can tell she's enjoying herself. <laughs> that little devil. What's wrong, Mr. Robin? Was that too much for you? I breathe heavily, my chest rising and falling beneath my coat. I can feel my toes as they curl against my socks, my thighs as they rub against the denim of my trousers. And something else, too. <laughs> Shit. My thoughts exactly, Robin. Oh my, maybe it really was too stimulating after all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Belle gives me a look of concern, though I doubt it's very sincere. If it was, she wouldn't give me that poor abused ice cream and other cover <laughs> covert lick. You must have it rough, Robin, getting so woke worked up about something so small. Your wife mustn't treat you very well, if you know what I mean. R r right, I could do without the insuations of my sex life, thank you very much. You know, if you're having a bit of a dry spell, I wouldn't mind giving you a helping... Okay, well... I cut her off, my voice a little louder than it should be. It sticks in my throat. I cough. I'm afraid that if I let her finish that sentence, I might be tempted to take her up on the offer. I'm a weak man, and I can only take so much temptation before I cave in. It is true my relationship with Sally has been rather dry lately, as Belle put it, but I don't know if I'd feel any better if I were having sex on a regular basis. If we were having sex on a regular basis. I don't think it would make us like each other more. She probably can't bring herself to be intimate with me. Not when she suspects me of cheating on her with Arabella sodding weight. I guess I can't blame her. I wouldn't want to be intimate with anyone who had slept with Arabella weight either. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, God. This poor girl. Arabelle Wait is getting cougar cougar dragged. If only Sally knew the truth. Arabelle Wait doesn't hold a candle to Belle. It, it was nice meeting you, Belle, but I, I really should get going back home now. Belle raises an eyebrow, glancing at the front of my pants. Like that? Well, uh... I glance away, my cheeks red. That, that might be a problem, but the walk back home, not to mention the morning guilt, mounting guilt, should take care of it. This is all your fault, Belle. I already told you I'd be more than willing to take responsibility. Don't tempt me. But that's what I want. Don't say things like that. It's, it's improper. Belle shrugs. Okay, you're the boss. I just want to thank you in whatever way I can. That's what I'm here for. Right. Sure. I sigh, running a hand through my hair. I think I'm starting to get a headache. I'm sorry if I went too far. I'll try to be nicer to you next time. There's going to be a next time? Of course. I was thinking you must get pretty bored at work, so maybe I could... You are not going to eat anything at me erotically when I am at work. There are children around. I'm sure I can think of something. I can hardly wait. I meant for it to sound sarcastic, but sarcasm is a little difficult given the bulge in my trousers and my genuine desire to see her again. I've only known her for two days and she confuses me, and I don't really understand what she is or what she wants, but I feel like I already understand her better than I understand my own wife. Hey, Belle. I'm curious. Hmm? What is it? How do you like to take your coffee? I don't know why the question comes to me. It just does. It feels wrong somehow that I know how Sally likes hers, milk and sugar, when I don't know Belle's. Hmm. Coffee, huh? been a while since I've had that, but... Belle ponders, pressing a finger against her lower lip. I think I like it black. 
<laughs> Figures. It goes well with her heart. With that, I'm also going to end that other this this uh, adventure. It looks like things are ramping up between Belle and Robin. And I honestly, I, I feel bad. Sally and Robin should obviously be trying to fix their issues. And Robin is very, very much crossing into the no point of no return territory. And I don't know what's up with Sally. Sally could just be a stay-at-home wife. Maybe she's just... Something happened along the way where there's that disconnect. Either way, uh, things are very much heating up between Robin and Belle. And I guess we're going to uh, stay tuned for the next chapter, or next episode, to see uh, where that goes. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.